Hi, thank you for watching Scripture Explorers. We love being able to teach the scriptures and help families understand them better. If you want to help us keep growing and sharing, please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and share our videos with friends and family. We also appreciate your donations. You can scan the QR code below or visit scriptureexplorers.com to donate today. Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. We talked for just a second about this man before. Do you recognize him? David Witt. Witt. Whitmer, that's very good. He was one of three men who first got to see the plates of gold. They were called the... Three Witnesses. Great remembering. Those three men were Oliver Cowdery, David Whitmer, and Martin Harris. These men were chosen by God to be special witnesses, and even though they had hard lives and they suffered for what they said, they never denied that the Book of Mormon was true and that the plates of gold were real. Today we're going to talk about David Whitmer, but also his family. But let's take a look at our Restoration Timeline to see where we are. Joseph had the first vision in 1820, he got the plates of gold in 1827, and here we are two years later in 1829. Lots of these stories have been around then. That's true. The church was just starting out, and there were lots of questions. Over time, you'll see that lots and lots of the stories we talk about happened at this time. The stories we'll talk about today happened in June of 1829. David Whitmer had a big family, and his father and brothers had all come to know that the Book of Mormon was true. They let Joseph Smith live in their home for a while while he finished translating the Book of Mormon. While he lived there, the Whitmers wanted to ask Heavenly Father what they should be doing. Joseph gave them their answers in sections 14, 15, and 16. There were three Whitmer boys who all got special instructions from the Lord, David, John, and Peter. What did he tell them? They all wanted to know what they should be doing to help God's work. He told them to do their best and to help his kingdom grow, to share the truth and to try to help people to come and join the church to get closer to Heavenly Father. That same summer, it was finally time for Joseph Smith to show the plates of gold to the three witnesses. In section 17, we learn what God wanted to tell them before they could see the plates. They were told that because of their faith, they would be allowed to see the plates and other special things that up until then, only Joseph Smith had seen. They were shown these things so that the world would be able to believe. It's easy to say that one man is telling a lie, but it's harder to say that a group of men are all lying. They saw the plates, and to this day their testimonies are still in the front of the Book of Mormon to help us know that it's true. It's time for Explorer Spotlight. Hi, my name is Scotty. I'm turning seven soon. My favorite scripture hero is Captain Aroni. He built fortresses to protect his people. I love scripture explorers. If you'd like to do an Explorer Spotlight, let us know in the comments. I hope you learned a lot today. Remember to subscribe and share. Also, if you want to take your family scripture study to new levels, check out our scripture study helps at the QR code below or visit scriptureexplorers.com.